well. I mean, uh, uh, <clears throat> I, con I consider myself a, a boxing man. I mean, I have been a, an amateur fighter myself, and um, I mean, I have seen so much boxing in my entire life. So, uh, um, if 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 my fighter get beat. I mean, I will admit that uh, if he got beat, I mean, we, if it is not a controversial uh, decision, of course, but uh, if he gets beat uh, 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 and the decision is right, I mean, I will admit that because I doesn't, I doesn't want to look like a fool myself, uh, uh, saying that my fighter won if I knew inside myself that <coughs> that he really got beat. Uh, your fighter, Michael Kessler. What's what's the future hold for him? The future for Michael Kessler right now is he's um, fighting for the world title uh, June 21st in uh, in Copenhagen against uh, Dimitri Sardison, uh, the official contender. I have some plans in my mind, but uh, I'm not involving uh, Kessler at all because I want him to to uh, just to stay focused on on that fight we don't uh, we don't plan um, uh, fights ahead you know we take it from fight to fight okay. he was fighting Joe Calzaghe Hopkins when he was fight he said I don't think Mikkel did anything in his career you know he was criticizing Joe's opponent so how do you react to that when they talk about your fighter this way well just silly nonsense uh, from Hopkins so uh, oh I mean, I I am sure that uh, he don't follow what is going on in Europe at all. So uh, Michael Kessler have beat everybody. He went to Australia to um, to fight Montin uh, right after that he he won the title, and he beat uh, Montin uh, without being in any shape. He was injured. Well, I have no idea what uh, Hopkins can uh, can draw. I mean, uh, they could hardly uh, draw in uh, when he fought uh, when he fought Karsagi here. So uh, I don't I don't know what what he have in um, what uh, why he's uh, uh, saying all that uh, bullshit, you know. Yeah, who, who are some of the great names that you've seen, that you've met up with, you helped promote maybe before? Well, um, <clears throat> some of the people here um, who I elected today um, um, have been fighting in, uh, in Denmark. I mean, it's a tiny little country, and um, I'm very proud to have uh, uh, names like, like uh, uh, Mike Tyson, Larry Holmes, Eddie Perkins, Emil Griffith, and all that, uh, I mean, just to name a few, um, through the 50 years of, uh, or 52 years of uh, promoting now, I mean, I have had uh, many of the greatest fighters uh, fighting in Denmark. You mean Emil Griffith? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's a superior and maybe the best fighter ever. So, uh, well, I don't know why I made him that, but he he was a natural uh, um, a talent. I mean, tremendous uh, fighter. So, um, he was a perfect fighter. I mean, he could he he uh, he had the style, the skills, and everything. He was a very uh, a fantastic athlete, you know. So. Uh, uh, and he had the, he just had everything. Uh, Sonny Liston, yes. you were his, you worked well with a lot of his fights. Is it true that he had like the biggest hands ever? Well, I, I, he had a very big hand. I don't know uh, uh, if, that, if, if that was the biggest ever, but he had a very big hand. And uh, he was a nice person, though he looked uh, cruel. Mean, right? Mean, yeah. So, uh, uh, but he was there with a, with his wife Geraldine, and and uh, um, we made uh, four, f four or five fights for him. I mean, I was co-promoting with uh, 
a guy named uh, Basil Knutson uh, and uh, Ingemar Johansson in the in the former world champion. Boxing is banned in Sweden. I don't know if they're they're trying to reinstate it. I don't know what the current status is. But what's the reasoning behind? It? Is it politically motivated that they're trying to ban it, or? Well, I don't know. Uh, um, you know, politicians. Uh, uh, I mean, sometimes they're try, trying to make themselves a name and find some uh, 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 reason to to uh, uh, to become famous themselves. So, uh, boxing is is a uh, is a very easy to get publicity uh, about. So uh, uh, they involve themselves in boxing, trying to ban, and they got it banned in the '69. So, uh, but it's, um, it, it, I don't know if it will ever come back in, uh, <clears throat> because right now they are, it is reinstated in a way, but only with, uh, they are not, they are only allowed to, um, to make six round fights. Six round? Yeah. I read actually yesterday, Brian Nielsen supposedly making a comeback. He has said that apparently in some uh, Danish website. Uh, wh what do you think about that? That is rubbish. He will never come back. I will. I will. He will never fight for me again. At least you know his time is, is past. So so uh, he is retired for good. You know, he he will only hurt himself uh, trying to come back. You, you promoted his fight with Tyson. Can you talk a little about that? Um, Brian Nielsen. Um, he was really written off by some papers. In, in, in Denmark, uh, but uh, um, it was totally wrong. And um, ten months later, he came back, uh, came uh, came back, and uh, fought uh, Tyson. And I believe that he had a great chance to beat Tyson because he was uh, exhausted, uh, and uh, uh, he was uh, over the seven round. So I I believe that. Uh, he was in 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 a very very good condition, Brian, and he was able to finish the fight strongly. So, uh, but a, but a, but a, but a bad cut and double vision on his eye, one of uh, the left eye, I think, um, that uh, there was uh, uh, the need to stop the fight. The doctor stopped the fight, so uh, he was not able to uh, to go through. But uh, I believe that he could have won the fight. Thank you for your time. Congratulations. You really deserve it. All right?